All right, well, it is almost 11 o'clock. I uh, had a super fun time hanging out with Becky tonight. That was great uh, for the Saturday night sale. And, and thank you everyone who joined us for the Saturday night sale. That was great. Um, let's see, what's going on? Okay, so the table is organized. So we can talk about what's sold and what is still available. Um, I do want to mention that right after the sale, um, I was contacted about two items from the sale. So those are now sold. So they have joined the sold pile. Um, but still, whoo, that was a lean sale. Uh, of the 20 items I brought, uh, well, as of the sale, I had sold four of them, and they were four pairs of earrings. And um, now with the two additional items, I am up to six items out of 20 that I sold tonight. Um, I did also sell three items from my shorts. Uh, so we'll talk about those three items also. Uh, but let's talk about what is still available from the sale. So round. <clears throat> okay. I have this beautiful Sadler teapot cream and sugar set. Uh, there was a little bit of wear on the handle of the Sadler teapot. Just a tiny bit down in here. Um, open sugar and creamer. That set was $65. I have the pair of brass lanterns. So these are the lanterns. Let me see. They are, uh, they're tall. The inside case on these, oops, where's the door? There it is. The inside compartment is seven inches tall. And so this opens up like that. They are glass and brass. I have two of them and they are $25 each. I have this gorgeous antique vase. It is phenomenal. The handles are amazing. This is such a beautiful shape and it is nine and a half inches tall. It is a big one. Uh, this is $150. I have the lamp, this awesome jazz lamp. We have the cat. We have the saxophone player and the bass player. This light bulb is in with one of those um, like Christmas village lights. So if you wanted to change that out for a white cord or anything like that, super easy to do. Uh, this lamp is made out of metal and it is uh, $30. What is next? Oh, next, is, I'm trying to go down my sheet so I don't lose my place and forget an item. Uh, this is a Fenton piece. It was made for Holofane. And there is a little mark on here, this little triangle mark. And <clears throat> the research I was able to do said that this was Fenton for Holofane. It is a six and a quarter diameter <clears throat> blue bowl, blue glass bowl, um, beautiful rose pattern with an opalescence. This is $40. Uh, I have this beaded handbag. <clears throat> this is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful beadwork. Here is the bottom, and I will show the flip side. Here is the metal clasp on it and the chain, and it is gorgeous on the inside as well. This handbag is $25, and it's about as big as my hand. 
Um, I have two pieces of Satsuma from Japan. I have a set of five sake cups. Beautiful Satsuma style. And each of the five has the geisha in the bottom. So they are lithopanes. <clears throat> five cups is considered a set. Um, a lot of times with uh, Japan, um, their sets are in odd numbers. So five is um, a set. And uh, the five are $20. And then I also have, uh, this is also a Satsuma style. Uh, this is a lithopane a teacup with the geisha in the bottom. And this one is $18. There is the saucer. I've got this big paperweight. It is big. Here it is in my hand. It is big. Here is the bottom, and this looks so cool with, um, with a light shining through it, colored light shining through it. This is $20. Uh, what is next? Oh, the basket. The ceramic basket. This is done by Barbara in 07. It's a handled basket. It's got a beautiful glaze on the front and the back side. Ooh, let me get that up there. There we go. The front and the back side. Beautiful glaze. The handle is really nicely done where it is on the inside and on the outside. So a very secure handle on this piece. And this is $18. Uh, this bracelet, the clasp right here is sterling. And I don't remember where that mark was, but there is a mark on here that shows that the clasp, oh, focus, the clasp is sterling. Uh, this is a braided leather and I'm not sure real or faux pearls. Really beautiful bracelet. This is $12. Um, I have this lovely, very tall, I think she's about nine inches tall, beautiful porcelain woman. She does still have her finger. It's extended. I know a lot of times those are the first to go. Here is the back. She is lovely, and she is $15. Uh, then we have the Chinese ginger jar. It is made in China. It has some kind of a 10,000 uh, proverb on it. It is, oh, I can't remember if it's four and a half inches tall, something about around there. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is $10. And then I have this little pair of earrings. A beautiful amber with a gold tone hook. And those were $5 for the amber earrings. Okay. So that was um, one time through everything still available. Uh, if you are interested in any of these pieces, please feel free to contact me uh, by email or leave a comment on the video. Okay, so let's talk about what sold during the sale. Um, sterling and abalone earrings. These are sterling and glass earrings. These ones are sterling and we think mother of pearl and um, onyx earrings. And these are sterling and millefiori earrings. And then I also sold the two figurines, so thank you so much for that. 
Um, outside of the sale, and actually before it even started, I did sell two Winnie the Pooh hinge boxes. Uh, this one is for birthdays, and this one is for fall time. And it says, give thanks. And those were featured in my shorts, as was the Yadro Swan. And that one sold. Uh, so thank you so much for, uh, for your purchases. All right, so up next, you are going to be uh, seeing the community sale hall. So last Saturday, I spent the day, uh, been a long day, <laughs> I'll tell you all about it uh, when, when you see the hall. Um, yeah, and I just got the last of it unpacked. Um, I was going to split it decided not to. So enjoy the entire community sale haul, which is up next. All right. Well, it is time for the community sale haul. Uh, this is a huge, huge mega community sale that I look forward to every year. Um, I know you're not going to quite be able to see on the map, but yeah. These are just the people that said that they were going to participate in it. There were a lot of other people who, um, who joined in. Uh, so there were well over a hundred houses. Had to be. Had to be. Um, I was there for about six and a half hours. I walked seven miles <laughs> walking around. Um, traffic, if you guys saw the little clips I did of the community sale in my vlog, uh, you could see there was nowhere to park. There's barely anywhere to even drive. Um, it's very hard to drive with all of the cars parked trying to go in and out. So, no, I just, I park and then I walk. Um, I walk as much as I can, seven miles worth, but, uh, but I have a cart. Um, I did show you guys my, um, all-terrain vehicle cart. It's pretty awesome. It gets everywhere. And I was thinking about, uh, because this is a lot, it's a lot of stuff. I was thinking of breaking it out into two. And then I thought, you know what? No, because I, I still have a church rummage sale. I still have an estate sale. Uh, next weekend is going to be two more sales. I got to get going on these hauls. <laughs> so uh, grab a cup of coffee. Um, you know, pause it, come back um, as you can. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long one. <laughs> but hey, I hope, I hope it's going to be worth it. So I am going to tilt the camera down here. Let's see. Is that good? That's pretty good. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be stopping here and there so I can rearrange some things, move some things, uh, because my table is just a little too full here. So let's get started with some of the little bigger things. So yeah. Coca-Cola ice bucket. That was really cool. And it looks, yeah, like it's never been out of the plastic. A mini, I thought this was just Minnie Mouse, but there is a Mickey somewhere in here. Oh, there he is. So there is a Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and this says... I think Disneyland on it. So yeah, so somebody picked this up from Disneyland. Really cool. Love Mickey and Minnie. Okay, uh, Crochet Afghan loved the colors on this one. Thought that was really great. It does have fringe. This one, yeah, you're gonna be seeing this one again for Afghanapalooza. So this is the time of year I start collecting things for Afghanapalooza, which is the first Saturday in January. 
I know, I make you wait a long time for that one. This one, oh my gosh, Christmas tree skirt. That is the 12 days of Christmas. Yes, there are a couple of sequin missing because this was done in the 70s, but it is, from the way it looks, it looks about 95% complete. It's pretty awesome, and it does have all 12 days. We start with the partridge in a pear tree, and we end with the drummers drumming, and everybody in between is there. So that was pretty awesome. And then this Christmas tree skirt, um, the gal who was selling it said they, uh, a friend of hers made it. They used it for a number of years, but they just don't use it anymore. And oh my gosh, look how cute that Santa is. Yeah, yeah, had to pick that one up. Okay, so now I can use, oh, I can use this. Okay. Um... If you guys remember last year, I ended up with a bunch of paper dolls from Grandpa Tony. Now, Grandpa Tony worked with wood, obviously, because um, Grandpa Tony had a special skill. This came from that same, I remember, I remember seeing the people and I saw this and it doesn't say Grandpa Tony on the back. But I know this is Grandpa Tony uh, because it's a paper doll. He cuts them out, puts them on wood, puts these two little pegs right here. And then all of the outfits are all mounted on wood. Look at that. He put the little tag on the back. And then you match up the holes here. Oops, can I do it? I know the pressure's on when the camera's on. And see the hole right there oh come on line up line up line up there's one where is the other hole nope okay too much pressure with the camera on uh, but the the holes line up and this one is the Madam Alexander let me see this one was the one that was on there Maybe that one's a little easier to get on. There we go. Got it. So this one is Madam Alexander Paper Dolls. And it says Brunette International Series. So... I'm pretty sure that was another wonderful Grandpa Tony creation. Uh, let's see. Fabric. Yeah, there are some little bundles of fabric. Look at this. Patriotic dogs. And there is one and a half yards here. Then we've got lovely chickens. This one says 27 inches for the chickens. Um, as soon as I get to it, I've got, ooh, I've got some more fabric. Uh, this is some, something round. It's round with a hole in it. I don't know if this is supposed to be a tree skirt or not, uh, but it has a band on this side, and then this side is solid. So I guess someone can use that as they like. Oh, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, then look at this cute hula honeys. And this is from Z Galleries. I haven't even really taken a look inside here to see the hula honeys, but they're kind of like thick postcards. Oh, they're cute. And they look all different. Here, we'll just grab a little sampling of the hula honeys. Oh, super cute. Okay, then I cannot resist these transfers when I find them. We've got cows and horses. 
This is here come, oh, here come the Indians. Oh, I skipped one. Oh, I have two, two of the Indians. We've got swans, a swimming. This one is oriental art, cross stitch, colonial girl. Those are the days of the week. This one is playful cocker puppies, so cocker spaniel puppy, baby animals. We've got nursery rhymes. Dotty the duck. This is also a days of the week. And kittens. And then this, I don't know what this is, uh, but I picked it up. Might be a card, might be, looks kind of like a card, but it kind of looks like something reflected in ripples in the water. I thought that was really pretty. Okay, transfers. Ooh, I'm going to have to move that stuff first. Um, so Daisy Kingdom transfers. This one, okay, this one is all here. So Christmas themed. This one is not all here. Just, just part of it. Uh, a couple of them are missing. But still love Daisy Kingdom. Okay, this stuff is moving, so I'm going to have to grab it. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, if you were with me on Friday night, uh, Sue and I were talking about this, and she she asked if there was one thing that I was like, ooh, that's the one. And nothing had come to mind at the time. However, as I was going through things, I went, you know what? This kind of is that one thing that I saw that I went, ooh. So this is a huge collection of Edward S. Curtis. And it's called Native Families. And it is a collection of his snapshots that he started in 1898. And it was like a 30, 30 years starting in 1898. He was photographing Native Americans. And on the back of these, it does say who they are. Like this is the wife of Howling Wolf, Cheyenne, 1927. And so, yeah, there is a huge collection. I haven't even looked at them. I haven't even looked. I just saw, I saw this cover and I went, yep, those are mine. <laughs> so yeah, that was the one thing that I grabbed. Haven't even taken a, a close look at them. Just, uh, just knew that they were going to be something pretty awesome and I would enjoy looking at them. Um, can't resist pioneer woman. Love the pattern on this. And this is a sewing kit. Isn't this adorable? Everything you need, all color coordinated. So yeah, loved that sewing kit. Okay, this was also really hard to resist. I walked away from it a couple of times and then I decided, no, I, I got to grab this one. Uh, so this is, yes, yeah, it's a simplicity pattern on the cover, but it says it's an organizer. So everything on the inside kind of coordinates with simplicity patterns. And you can see references, projects, swatches, calendars. There's a whole way to get organized, but each one features a fantastic vintage fabric cover, but I thought, wow, you get vintage fabric um, and an organizer. I thought that was really a cool piece. Okay, so then I have 18 inch quilt squares. This one is the forget-me-nots. And then we've got some kits. So this one has not been opened. This one is a friendship quilt. 
Is it a big quilt? It is 14 by 18 when it is done. Again, sealed. This is another sealed one. It is dimensions, little pansies. Everything is right there. Uh, sunset, a pillow, bouquet of flowers, sealed. This one is also another pillow, sealed. Okay, so those are, let's see, let's put those right there. Okay, then I've got a bunch of books. I should specify crafting books. So here we have Quickie Knits, a new look at Needlepoint. Well, that's still kind of a vintage look, isn't it? <laughs> Victorian Kitchens, Silk Ribbon Angels, and these are all little booklets with um, crafting ideas inside. Oh, Victorian Dining. Here, I'll put that with the Victorian Kitchen. This is, wow, um, wool on, wool on something. Oh, Wool on Wool Folk Art Quilts is that one. Uh, fun with Cotton Press Molds. Candy Canes and Lace. Kirigami, which is folding. Uh, the Book of Paper Cutting. Decoupage, Teach Yourself Embroidery. Okay, then we're going to take a look at this fabric really quick, and then I think that might be everything for the crafting portion. Four yards of this beautiful paisley. I liked that. Let's see, we'll put that, oh, put that there. Okay, this is approximately two yards. It's Winnie the Pooh, a nice flannel with butterflies. But yeah, Winnie the Pooh, love it. And then the last fabric I have, I could not resist, pigs. This is approximately three yards of flying pigs. Okay. Oh, yeah, these. Um, so these vintage Lifesaver posters. This one is for the peppermint. And then this one, it says Walt Disney Production down in the corner. And this says Gremlin Chasers. And I have to admit, I am not familiar with Walt Disney gremlins that look like this. So that was a new one for me. But they were really cute. Uh, so yeah, I grabbed it. Uh, so this next batch, you're going to maybe recognize because I did feature it in <coughs> my vlog footage. Um, this was one of the first places I went to before it got like, so busy and so crazy. So I was able to film this. The coloring books. Yes, I did grab the coloring books because they are unused, unused vintage coloring books. And I could not leave them behind. So we have up, down, and around. Uh, simple objects to color and the graphics on these. So this one is a Whitman. That's a Whitman. This one, oh, winner, winner dogs. Coloring book. Okay, this one has a clown. If you don't like clowns, turn away. Happy times. Okay, I'm covering up the clown now. Visit to a pumpkin. Yeah. People living in a pumpkin. 
and then we've got, oh, and then I turn right to a, a little jester there. So that one's a little different. Fun to color. Oh, look at the cover on this one. Oh my goodness. This one is Color Me. I don't know if it says, oh, this one says uh, 1962. So this Color Me came out in 1962. And then this one, lots to color. But yeah, I did a quick look and I didn't see that any of these had been colored in. This one is 1955. So it looks like 50s and 60s for this awesome collection of coloring books. All right, oh, I've got my bag open. Okay, I picked up some Thai beanies out. Now these are bigger bears. So these are the bigger size and I'll show you. Here, I'll give you a sneak peek. Look at this one, a little snail. Okay, I gotta know the snail's name. Swirly, Swirly the snail. So this is the standard size. And you can see the bear is quite a bit bigger than the standard size. So I do have some of these larger bears. So we've got one for St. Patty's. We've got this one with the raincoat. Oh, my bag fell over. Darn it. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to put my bag over here. Uh, this one that is shedding a little gold, but he's very royal. He's got a little hood too. But yeah, his, uh, he's, he's shedding a little. Uh, this one is Korea, Japan from 2002. But then he looks like he has a German nose. So you got me. I'll figure, I'll figure that one out. Okay, then we've got, okay, stay here. Stay right there. I've got some more of the little ones and ones I haven't had really before. So a little jellyfish. A white bird. Let's see, his name is Cuckoo. <laughs> and I have to grab a flamingo. And what else do we have? Oh, the eagle. Yeah. Yeah, I love the flamingo and the eagle. So, okay. Then I've got a really big collection of cookie cutters. Uh, a lot of them are Christmas. Not all of them, but some of them are Christmas. Let's see, we'll put those there. Um, all right. One of the first places I stopped, I ended up picking up this beautiful decanter. Now it's kind of a, it's like a light teal color. It's more teal than aqua. And it's got a really cool design, but a beautiful glass decanter. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, this was another really cool piece. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one first so I have some place to set those. Um yeah, this one's really big, but it does compact. So it is like a hanging carousel. So up here at the top is a cord. This is made out of wood. It has, oh, one of the little, this mirror has something around it. This one does not. But then hanging from here, we've got an elephant a lion, oh, a tiger, and a zebra. How epic is that? 
Uh, one of these roses just needs to be reattached up here, a little blue, and that'll be good as new, but I can't, e I can't even get this all in the shot. Oh, this is so amazing. So yeah, that was, that was a pretty epic find. I loved that piece. Um, then what I had sitting on top, because I kind of have things arranged a little crazy here, is this amazing, amazing goldfish carved out of wood, or maybe it's resin. Hmm. I'm going to have to do a little check on that. It seems like it's wood, but I know sometimes wood is like resin. But this one really seems like it's wood. Again, I'm going to do a little more investigating. And there's a little one that goes with it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it feels very grainy. So I'm going to say carved wood on this one. But beautiful. But again, I'll do I'll do a little more a little more investigating because sometimes it is hard to tell what these things are made of. Okay, you may remember also that I showed a whole bunch of brooches during uh, my community sale um, sh kind of little shop with me. And out of that collection of um, brooches, I did end up grabbing six of them. So I will show those to you. I could not grab them all um, as much as I would like to, uh, but I did grab six of them. Let me get over here because the lighting is just a little better. So beautiful brooches. I mean, she had so many beautiful brooches. It was very hard to pick just a couple, but I had to pick just a couple and be on my way to, uh, to the next uh, location. And this one. So those are the ones that I selected. This one I thought just with the beautiful colors from fall. Yep. So, um, so yeah, those were the ones that I grabbed. Okay, now where? Okay, back here. I grabbed this beautiful large tonala or tonala, whichever is your preference. Mexican pottery. It's got this fantastic bird on it. Amazing. Beautifully painted. Uh, there is a bit of a signature down there. But yeah, that one is really lovely. Okay, then here, let's do this. So this little nightlight I picked up with the other hula girls. So cute. I thought that is going to be adorable as a nightlight. Um, and a teacup and saucer. Yep, I found, I just found two of them. Uh, don't know who made this one. It's just numbers on the bottom. But a lovely pattern. Uh, yeah, they're just... There weren't that many there um, to pick from. Uh, oh, then there is this beautiful purple glass, um, hand blown, but really nicely smoothed pontal, but a really nice white swirl in that purple glass. Um, oh, and then there is this whole box here of Littles. So little pitchers, vases, um, I would imagine most of these are from, I didn't even really look, look at them. They are so cute from Japan. 
and just a lovely little variety. Um, this one's cute. It's a little watering can. And that one, yeah, it says Japan on the bottom. And then this one, ooh. I'm not sure what that says on the bottom. Where's my magnifier? Something collection made in, I don't know. So yeah, we'll have to do a little more investigating on this piece. Um, but yeah, just an adorable little collection. This little teapot doesn't have a lid, but so pretty. Oh, this one's drag. I didn't even notice this one was dragonware. Very cool. And that one is marked Japan. All right. Uh, then we've got this beauty. I At first I thought, oh, maybe that's a gravy boat, but um, it has a pourer down here, but you'd have to take the lid off. But I still think maybe this is a gravy boat. Um, I haven't done any real research on it. I mean, I just unpacked these things, so I'll have to do a little more. It has that kind of dolphin looking thing on top. So very interesting. But of course, now that we're getting closer to fall, love the amber. Here, let me put that here and then I'll move it. Okay, these I thought maybe were salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. They are two cat figurines. So cute. Oh my gosh, so amazingly cute. Uh, then I have a set of six of these little, they don't say they're from Germany, but I have a feeling they are. They are all the same, uh, really pretty pink uh, rose pattern, and they do come with the candles. So that is a set of six of them, two, and then here are the other two. So a whole set of six of those. Um, and then another thing I kind of thought at first was salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. Little porcelain bunnies. So this one's a little grayer. This one's a little browner. And then, oh my goodness. Yes, a collection of the littles, the little Ron Rays. So I have the red. I have this beautiful iridescent blue. Wow. And then this one, I really have never seen an aqua colored one. So we'll see if that's coming through as aqua, but it really, it's not, I'll put it next to the blue and then you can kind of see that it is a, it's a different color than the blue. So yeah, an aqua colored little blue. And what does it say? For years, oh, for years of beauty, clean with dry cloth. And it is a Ron Ray dated, I think 1994. Um, and then I have this lovely tray. Now, I think I have soap. I, I like soap, but I think I have soap from this company, so it must have come from there. This is a, uh, a melamine, but how beautiful would that be in someone's little guest, um, guest mermaid powder room? So yeah, that would be awesome to put little soaps on, a little guest towel. Uh, but I was using this to keep all of these littles on, so I have some place to put them. Because again, I don't have unlimited space here. Here, so let's put those there and there. Okay. And that is that. All right, I can move those back. Uh, now, these three things... These three lovely glasses. I looked at these and I thought, hmm, 
I wonder if those are like bohemian glass because they are hand painted. So here is the green one. They're not marked, they're not signed. Uh, here is the purple one. And then the blue one. So yeah, they definitely remind me of hand-painted bohemian glass. So I'll be doing some more investigating on those to see if that is what they are. Um, all right, let's bring, whoops. We'll bring this part over first since it wants to run away. So a little leaf shaped dish. This is, I should keep this handy now, uh, made in Taiwan. Flambro. Flambro made in Taiwan. Beautiful leaf dish. Uh, this is fun. So this is a set of three snowflakes plus these two other pieces so you can make these little cutouts. Now I thought maybe they were just cookie cutters, but these say decorative cutters. So maybe you can use them on things other than cookies. But here are the three snowflakes, and then here are the two pieces that you can use to do cutouts on the snowflakes. So that was really different. So I liked that. And then of course, I love wood bowls, especially with patterns on them. This one is beautiful. It's not marked. Um, don't know who made it or, you know, country of origin or anything like that. But I thought it was really well done. Okay. Now, let's bring these over. Uh, now, these have not been cleaned. So, and they were sitting outside. So, they are going to need a little cleaning. This beautiful bowl. And this is Hammersley Bone China made in England. Then this little violets plate. This is Royal, oh, Royal Bavaria made in Germany. This lovely little pink plate. This is also made in Germany. This plate is Haviland Limoges. Oh yeah, found um, two of them, right? Yeah, matching, two matching plates, Haviland Limoges. Then this beautiful one is Austria, Imperial Crown Austria. That's got a gorgeous design. And then this one that comes with the plate, this is hand-painted Nippon, a beautiful scene. Again, great colors for the upcoming fall. All right, so there is that little collection. Let's see, I put that, but not that. All right, um, oh. Then let's go ahead and get into some Fenton. Yep, so I have the lovely pink iridescent glass, like a toothpick holder. I've got this also pink iridescent. Um, I'm not familiar with this piece. It's a newer piece. It has the sticker on it. Um, so yeah, I'll have to see if this had a top to it or not. It's kind of hard to tell from the way it looks, but as is, it is a lovely little bowl. And then we've got the glowy piece. Let me see. This one I know for sure glows. Um, I could tell it glowed while I was outside. So a nice um, custard uranium toothpick holder. Um, you could also put a little tea light in there. All right, next grouping. We're cruising with this pretty fast, so I'm, I'm happy with the progress I'm making. Another teacup and saucer. This cute one, don't know who made this, but 
Loved the colors on it. Let's see, we'll put you right there for now. Uh, then a Chokin Peacock. Yeah, so this is from Japan. And what they do is they engrave copper and then they gild it with silver and gold to create the image. This one I love because it does have an artist's signature right here. They don't all, uh, but when you find one that has an artist's signature, that is really cool and a beautiful peacock. Wow. Uh, this lovely little hand painted. And this one, oops, get that off of there so we can read Aunt Belinda's Candies, it looks like. So somebody wrote Aunt Belinda's Candies. And on the front here, Helen Bennett. Okay, so that says Helen Bennett and this says Aunt Belinda's Candies. Alrighty, there's a story there. I'm sure there's a story there. Uh, this is a beautiful pottery piece. Again, I saw this and I thought, oh, that's gonna be beautiful for fall. On the back, I'm going to think Russian or something very similar. It does have holes here, so you can hang that. And then for the ultimate piece of fall decor, look at this beauty. Amazing, and it is Haviland Limoges. Yes, a beautiful plate, Limoges plate for fall. That is gorgeous. Uh, a tray. Yeah, didn't find many tin items at all, but I did find this tin tray. This is made in England. Fantastic design on that. And I know it's gonna feel a little deja vu because I just had all that jewelry in that last haul I had, but how could I resist adding more awesome jewelry to it? Um, and the pieces, so many glass beads in here. Oh my gosh, you're not even gonna be able to see that. Here, let's do it this way. So many gorgeous glass beads in here. Oh man. Yeah, wire and yeah, all kinds of, of goodies in here. Oh, these are little hoops, little hoops. And oh, and even littler hoops. So yeah, could not leave that behind. Oops, get in there there. Then I can get that, almost get it shut. Oh, I see. I may have to move those. There. <laughs> Every time I turn around. All right, close enough. At least it's not going to wobble now. All right, so we're getting getting to the end here. Um, if you think that maybe just because you've gotten to the end, it's, you know, the sales start, I started there at eight o'clock in the morning. I guess some people were hanging around until, you know, a little um, earlier than that. It technically didn't start till nine. It got to be about 2.15 or so, and I started hitting the last houses, spent about half an hour driving to and hitting the last houses. If you think that you can't find good stuff at the end of the day, well, let's take a look at what I found at the very, very last houses that I hit. Um, also, I want to mention the one thing you are not seeing in this haul is anything Halloween related. Yeah, I'm holding back Halloween. So you're gonna have to come to my sales to see the Halloween goodness. I might 
I might, as we get closer to the sales, I might do some shorts or something like that to uh, kind of show off some of the Halloween, but I'm holding it back. I'm teasing that, uh, yeah, and you can't see it. <laughs> so let's take a look at those last items. Okay. So this set of um, little salt cellars, there is some wear in the silver plate. Let me get that a little closer. I have a feeling these were used. So there is a little wear in the silver plate. They have these beautiful cobalt blue um, centers in here, but I know a lot of people aren't necessarily gonna use these as salt cellars, but man, you could use these as little tea light holders. There's a set of four of these and they would be spectacular. And this is, uh, oh, one of these I could read. Here it is, um, Raymond Silver Plate, R-A-I-M-O-N-D, Silver Plate. So I got that set of four. I found this fantastic mid-century modern candle holder. Woo! How cool is that? And this is from Germany, I think. Uh, yeah, Bavaria, made in West Germany, Bavaria. But how space age cool is that piece? Woo, love that. Uh, then I've got some bingo cards. Love the numbers on these, so cool. They almost look wooden. They are cardboard. They're really thick cardboard, but they almost have a wood look to them and some really old um, little markers for the bingo cards. This lovely piece and look at the set that is in here. So we've got this beautiful pendant and clip-on earring set. Those are so beautiful. Um, now this little bird, he has a chip on his beak. I didn't really care uh, because that's just a little touch up or it, you just leave it because look at how beautiful this bird is. Sometimes you gotta look past little chips and really see like, no, this piece is so good. It's okay that it's got a little chip right there because the rest of this is outstanding. Okay, then I've got a Russian hand-painted lacquer box. There is the inside. This is signed by the artist. Where is it? Right here. Right there is a signature. And it is also marked on the back. It looks like 1991. And it does say made in USSR. Beautiful box. And it is hand painted all around also. So lovely. Um, oh, let's get this. Okay. And pink milk glass, hand painted pink milk glass shell shaped dish. This is gorgeous. I hope it's coming across as pink with my lighting, but yeah. Ooh, love the pink milk glass. Put that there. And then, again, can't believe sometimes, even when you are late in the afternoon, you still can find good stuff. So I've got the Ellie Smith Moon and Stars three section server absolutely gorgeous 
and the L.E. Smith Moon and Stars candle holder. So that takes a taper, a tea light, a pillar, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, you can still find good things um, at the end of the day. Amazing. <sighs> All right, you made it to the end. <laughs> so I think for uh, six and a half hours and um, walking around, I did pretty darn good with everything. Um, and again, plus the couple of Halloween items that I'm not showing on purpose. Uh, but yeah, I think I did great. I am so looking forward to bringing these items to the live sales. And yeah, you know, if you feel like leaving a comment and letting me know what your favorite piece is, um, you know, I think, I think everybody would kind of like to know with the, such a variety of items, kind of which, which items were your favorite. Um, let's see. So what am I going to do? Um, I'm trying to think which order I am going to put this in. So you probably will already have seen then the Saturday night, um, what sold. I know I'm recording this before the Saturday sale, but I'm probably going to show the Saturday sale first and wrap up with this. So I will give an ending here and thank you so much for watching. I know that this was a huge mega haul. Um, and again, I thought about dividing it, but nope, nope. It's like we can get through it all. We can do it. And we did. We got through it all. So again, thank you so much for watching and yeah, I will see you tomorrow.